Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. Our team arrives on time and is always professional. Be sure your unit is ready for the cooler temperatures by visiting our website, callks.com today, and schedule your appointment. It's fast and easy. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 1112. It's the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition. This is for Friday, the 17th of November. I'm James Spann. We stay dry today. A cold front comes through this weekend with a band of showers, maybe some thunderstorms, noticeably colder Sunday, and we'll peak at Thanksgiving week here. So let's go in there and check things out. Early this morning, the water vapor satellite view across the continental United States. We have a dry air mass down here, a new trough coming into the Pacific Northwest. Temperatures down to freezing this morning at Fort Payne, Gadsden 34, Anniston 37. A lot of frost on the ground up across the northern and eastern counties of the state, but we'll warm up nicely today with highs in the upper 60s in most spots. Around the nation, pretty chilly up around the Great Lakes, a new surge of cold air diving down into Montana, and we'll feel that air here on Sunday. There's the watch warning map around the nation this morning. A number of winter weather issues back in the western states, but the east is fairly quiet. There's the severe weather outlook through tonight. Nothing severe expected. Maybe some thunder north of here. But tomorrow, a marginal risk of severe weather for parts of the eastern U.S. That includes now the Tennessee Valley of North Alabama. That marginal risk is for areas north of a line from near Winfield to Hansville. Then up to about Scottsboro, the darker green. Maybe some thunder below that down to uh, South Alabama, but the storm should be weakening as they move in here tomorrow evening. The main threat will be from gusty winds and maybe some small hail. Here's the rain for the next seven days around the nation. Really heavy rain back in the uh, uh, upper part of the Pacific coast in the western states. And around here, rain amounts about one half inch for much of the state. And the bulk of that will be Late tomorrow and tomorrow night, Thanksgiving week for now looking fairly dry. Now in the tropics, again, a little disturbance in the far southwest Caribbean is being watched. Just a low chance of that forming into a tropical storm over the next five days. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the OZ run, valid at noon today. Got a trough in the northeastern states, new trough back in the northwest. And for us, a beautiful day, sunny with a high in the upper 60s today. Now, tomorrow, a deep surface low is located southwest of Detroit with a trailing front. The uh, surface low a little farther to the south. I think that's the main reason they put that marginal risk down into the Tennessee Valley. We'll check the timing of the rain. This is 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. At that point, the shower is just moving into Tuscaloosa. The, again, that bodes pretty well for the football game there that kicks off at 11. Should be over by about 2 and the rain will likely arrive about 3. We'll mention a small chance of a shower during the fourth quarter, but again, I think we'll be okay. Of course, the Auburn game should be fine. They also kick off at 11. This is 7 o'clock tomorrow evening, and you can see maybe some thunder on that front itself, which should be running from near Scottsboro down to Birmingham and Moundville. But the storm should be weakening, and again, for... Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden, we don't expect any severe weather. But again, you might hear some thunder. And it sure looks like the rain's going to be over by really 11 o'clock tomorrow night. Sunday should be a sunny day, but breezy and noticeably colder. Sunday's high only in the mid-50s. That north breeze will make it feel colder. Monday, that surface high right on top of us. Monday morning, we're expecting the first widespread freeze of the season for about the northern half of the state. Lows between 26 and 32 are likely for most spots. Monday will be sunny and cool with a high in the upper 50s. Tuesday will be dry with 60s. Here we go, Thanksgiving Eve, Wednesday of next week. If you're traveling, check it out around the nation. Things are pretty quiet, thankfully. And for us, that uh, day looks cool and dry. We start the day in the 40s. The high would be in the low 60s if this verifies. And this is Thanksgiving Day, still looks dry. Uh, and maybe a touch cooler with lows in the 30s and highs in the 50s. Let's check the European. It's got a little surface reflection down in the Gulf of Mexico, 
but that stays way south of here. And again, it's now we're getting good consistency and that Thursday looks cool and dry. Thanksgiving Day. Again, lows in the 30s, highs in the 50s. This is Black Friday. That feature in the Gulf lifts a little bit to the north, and this is suggesting there could be some showers over southeast Alabama, but I think much of the state will still be dry. And this is Saturday, the 25th, Iron Bowl Saturday. And at this right, the weather cool and dry, lows in the 30s, highs in the 50s. And we'll keep on going to Sunday, the 26th, and again, that's cool and dry. So uh, at this point, the uh, Thanksgiving week, and that weekend looks pretty good. Check the numbers coming off the GFS Ensemble. Generally speaking, highs mostly in the 50s and lows in the 30s and 40s, which is a touch below average for late November. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. A KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today, 205-322-9090, AL certification number 11120.